After exploring into the city and taking on a few trials, and I've now gone into the red again. Oh, it's getting it's green. You entered into the Time Temple after hearing that Kelmore entered inside. Wanting to see what he's doing, you all entered inside pretty much to help him out. As some of you managed to work as a team and go the, I would say, correct direction, uh, Kelmore wound up going south, which took them a little longer to get there. However, as explorers and adventurers ought to do, you found tombs and decided to open them, whereupon you were nearly attacked. Thankfully enough, with a team effort, you managed to strike them down and advance further. And exploring later on into cave systems, you encountered a strange being with a almost like gemstones, but eyes inside of a lantern, which one of them caused your magical abilities to go and be stunned. Inside, there were five gems, a red one, a green one, a blue one, a purple one, and a rainbow one. All shattered, but uh, were collected afterwards. That they were beholder eyes. Yes, they were eyes. They well, were until said, they got blasted. You said they were gems. There were eyes encrusted in gemstone. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, that makes sense. And then they got blown up. Crashed. Now you wait before you enter into the next section, which you don't really know what to do. You can explore the section you are now, which is pretty much nearly 100% complete, just like 97% undiscovered. Or you can advance further. Wait, what are our options? Move forwards or continue to explore this area. Let's do... I don't know. Let's explore. Do you guys want to go back and check those other... Before we you really want to kill more on dad? What? Oh, okay, man. I don't no, know. Okay, that's, will... That is totally we... inappropriate for a server nickname. We're. Hmm? We're uh, going to be killing him if we go over there. Probably, because I felt undead over there. So. If we want to explore, we're probably going to be fighting undead. Or we can move on, which there might be more undead, but either way. Well, but, did, we find, I feel, did we find anything in the crypts? Yeah, I got a plus one sword and a plus one short sword, whatever. I don't know if you want one, but you can have it. Are they really our concern? If they're not bothering us, then they've been here <clears throat> before we arrived. Wasn't there also an indention in one of the Sakaxes? There were two indents that suggested items being placed there, but they were not found inside. So doesn't that mean that there might be something of particular importance to solve the trials in these things? Or someone took them before you. That too, but that also means that the other ones might hold something of importance. It may or may not. I can't say one way or the other. I say move on. Let's go. I don't mind either way. We'll I'll be fine. We got this. Let's go. Do it. All right, moving to the next map. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm late. By the way, I was busy packing. It happens. No We still love you. Oh, thanks. Okay, lining people up. Don't know why Kelmore's in the back. Or uh, we're supposed to be in a line. Why is it? No, it's just so I can see all of you guys instead of overlapping. Is it? Is it blurry for anyone else? I don't know what's wrong with this map. Some of my maps, for some reason, the resolution just dies whenever I try to expand them. Mine's blurry, yeah. 
Okay. It's okay. We'll just say there's a mist on the ground. Can't see it well. Um, That's all. Actually, let me explain it, because in general, you oh, really sorry. wouldn't be able to see it well. As you enter into the next section, you do see that underneath your feet is concrete. However, exploring further out, you can see that there's moss, grass, and other strange vegetation around the area, almost like it's alive as it's swaying and moving in the area. You do see about a few other entities in here, about five, and you do see roughly two, three ways, uh, four ways to leave this destination. One will require you to continue on the road that you're at, and three others that would get you into the living moss. So we can see all these creatures here. There isn't walls in our way. There are small walls here and there, but not enough to block your sight. And they all look like moss creatures. Except for the one in the middle. Except for the one where? In the middle. And do we see what that looks like, or can okay, you not tell from here? Uh, it's hard to tell exact distinctive features, but you can tell that it's a tabaxi. Do they look, do any of these creatures look, uh, harm, uh, look aggressive? They look odd and out of place in this world. That's as f- weird as a description as I can give you. I know what my sisters are like. And I want to know if there are any evidence of their past. What's going on? Uh, what was that, Kelmer? I know what my sisters are like, and I want to see if there are any evidence of their passage through here. Okay. How would you go about doing that? Well, I know that there are proficient spellcasters, so I would look for evidence of them casting spells. I would look for... Uh, their habits as they would be fighting or trying to stealth or hop, or walk through. If they were stealthing, uh, you wouldn't be able to catch it. If they were fighting, you see no explosive marks, no indents in the area. I use Define Sense from here. You Are they sense, Celestial Fae being around dead? You sense Fae and Celestial entities around you. Celestial is the ground that you <clears throat> are currently surrounded by the moss and fey mm-hmm. the creatures about okay um i tell if they're i mean i can't tell kind of like what alignment they have but like do i i mean are they looking at me do they seem malicious in any way like do they just sitting there like the creatures around you seem to be sitting there without really too much care or worry each one is around one of the openings that you could go through. Beyond that, they uh, don't seem to be attacking or looking at you. Is there they're around me right now? Hmm. They're roughly okay. 30 feet away from you, but not trying to get closer. Sorry, what happened I, I, to my Discord? I'd tell everybody, like, uh, what? Like, what, you, you know, that mm-hmm. they're a slut, that they're, that they're fae. And then I'm feeling like some type of celestial essence, like, you know, coming from the moss or whatever, like, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Can I, like, can I roll, like, an insight or something to see what that means? I don't know. They're making idea. our contact. This would be more insight, really, or nature. Um, but, Michelle, basically what you missed is everyone went to the next section. And the moss on the ground your feet is currently celestial, and the creatures around you are fey. Yeah, so I wouldn't know jack about it. Yeah, I know about my my divine sensing. <laughs> Looking around you and exploring what exactly it's about, you can tell that these creatures, at least the five individuals that are from the Feywild, were summoned here for a purpose or a reason. If you had to guess, each one is guarding the entrance to one of the paths that you take. The one in the middle is likely the one that would proctor your next action however that does not mean you need to engage them it just means that they're keeping an eye on you <clears throat> uh with uh, lillian nature 18 <coughs> choking 
Sorry. Pretty much the same thing, Hold except on, for uh, the Proctor thing. I like to approach the Tabaski without harm. Yeah, I, I tell everybody that, that, that they're probably guardians and stuff and to be careful. Hey, does it matter um, that I don't have proficiency in that? Why? Did you I add still... proficiency? No, but I still have a plus seven. Wait, did you just say point seven? I still plus have a plus seven, seven even in nature. Uh, that's a little weird, but okay. How do you have that? Anyway. Can I approach the Tabaski without harming any of the moss? Uh, no. Right where land stopped is where you would have to stop. Uh, I'd like to call out to the Tabaski. Um, excuse me. May I converse with you? Uh, do you speak Sylvan? No. I think you do have your um, your gem of uh, languages or whatever. Oh, those died out. Those died out three days ago. Yeah, you're, you're uh, the only one that has it actually. Shade. Yeah, it's just one Shade. language I learned permanently. So. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't Sylvan. <laughs> it's still cool though. But anyway. Uh, does anyone in the group mm. know Sylvan? It does begin to speak. No. I know uh, Elvish and Infernal. Uh, I know Common and Nomad. Draconic and Abyssal. Those who know Elvish, I'll give you guys a chance. Mainly because it's a direct link from it. Um, roll insight to determine what they're trying to say with your best attempt. Sure. Infernal too. Do, 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 no do, do, idea. Do. I know one or two words maybe. I got a 20. Decent. It's just a chicken soup recipe. I got a 25. Do you know Sylvan? I don't think Ooh. it was one of the... I mean, uh, or Alvin? No, I do not. Uh, then you weren't able to roll. Uh, Good try, though. Am I blessed? No. Uh, I no, also I'm, think you're too far away. Yeah, you know what? If I, I, I should have freaking picked that as another tool proficiency. Boo. Well, whatever. <laughs> there are different things you can check. Anyways, uh, with the 25, oh wait, uh, 20, it's still good. Uh, from what you can tell, it does speak to you in, I'm going to explain it the easiest way. A path in life enters into your own. Each step you take marks your path. The path marked by others is not the path to take. Path marked by others. So is not if we the go, path we that... can't follow anyone. I think, like, we can't like follow each other's footsteps. We have to all go a different way. <laughs> so you can also roll insight to figure it out if you yourself cannot figure it out. Well, I'm retarded, uh, so I'm just gonna roll. But something. isn't uh, the issue is that there are not enough pathways? There's more. Hey. Of us Apparently, I'm very insightful today. I like insight fairly well today, I think. I guess I'll try an insight roll if I can. Was that anywhere close to what, what was the right DM or my way off? What was the quote again? Just so I'm 100% sure. Alright, I'll make it simpler this time then. Oh, okay. In I life, just wanted to know what it was again. It's the same thing, I'm just gonna make it simpler because uh, the Sylvan way is a lot more poetic and you're character wouldn't be so poetic. No. I mean, they would, but they were trying to translate it. Alright. Uh, to make it simple, the path you take in life is your own. The path that others take, you should not follow. Can you type that out? Mm -hmm. uh, I can, but Lan rolled well enough to succeed. No, I mean, you, you broke up and... Then talk so could you type it out so we can read it i can but once again land rolled well enough to pass so you really don't need it okay uh bartholomew's just gonna start walking away and just go up this way okay well what do i uh what do i feel like i know uh 
Well, first, Bartholomew, uh, you notice him. But from what you can tell, the path that you must take is likely the path that you're currently at, which means you should not veer or go around in any other way. The path that others take, mainly the five guardians, technically the proctor doesn't count, that are around the area are paths that you should likely not take. One path is an indicator that you're going the right way, while the others are just places that will lead you to perhaps being lost or something else. Oh. I don't fully understand what that means, but isn't the path right here also not being guarded by anyone? It's being guarded by this one. But isn't, isn't she like on a completely different area? Again, the resolution is terrible. That's all I can say. It loaded fine for me. It was blurry for a minute, but it's fine now. Yeah, I don't know. However, um, from what you can tell, the path that was literally set in stone is the path that you follow. So it's the one okay. going this way. All right, well, follow the one in stone. Can we, like, w walk on, like, the railings there? Like, uh, instead of in the moss or no? You can. Um, in fact, you can roll acrobatics to jump over the area. Yeah. I'm going to do that. We'll try anyway. And I'm, uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just, I'm uh, lucky, right? I shouldn't have said that. There we go. Here the resolution is now better for me. I assume land tells us all of this. Yeah, of course I do. Yes. Should I use athletics? Perfect. To jump? I suppose if you yeah, have like a jab, not a javelin. Um, what are those things called? Running jump. No, the, the um, long jump poles. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, You're but yeah. Supposed to jump one foot for every point of strength you have. Like I think, a lot of feet. Yeah. So. But we're like running on like the railings. I think though. Like Naruto style. Uh, running on the rails is a lot easier, but if you want to. Uh, roll strength to jump. All right, it'll just be harder. Athletics. Yeah, athletics. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna guidance myself for this, and it's an yeah, athletics. I, I, I am. What? My acrobatics is not. I said my acrobatics is not sweet. I said my athletics is sweet. <laughs> okay, that's not good. But, yeah, I'm, um, I'm not I'm not good. <laughs> I think something uh, bad's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. That's a 14. It's okay. Uh, how I is fell that a 14? down on right. You fell on top of me. Because I can use my int for strength checks. And I have um a stone. Okay. Luck stone. Um, then you both just jump or try to do the railings and both of you step at the end. I have a 20 okay. in my strength. So I would like it to do a jump to make it over the moss without damaging any of them. All right. Uh, where can I start the jump? So I, so I don't make a... One more. Right here? You don't have to reference something. She can fly. Why am I jumping? Right here. Uh, you want to feel like a human for a minute. Yeah. Do I need to make a roll? You said you were jumping. Yeah, I'm just making sure. But do I just make it? Yeah, it acrobatics. Me? You easily cross over, get onto the other rail, and jump over to that side. Well. Both of my abilities are crap, but so I will try to walk along the railing so that's acrobatics yeah yeah all right well you can do it and i'm a ninja apparently so uh do you want to take shade with you uh sure i i i give i put him in a bridal carry and i whisk him down to the other end hashtag ship it i am swooned <laughs> I expect you just give him this deadpan look. Ryan's a little jealous. 
right. As this happening, Star just walks through it. Bless you. As you. How we had something back on you. Okay. As you. Oh, thanks. Star, are you okay? Hey, this is the setting we're doing the steampunk aesthetic, right? More or less, yeah. Okay, I just can't remember which game that was. Okay. There are themes. Star, Star are you okay? It's fine. You did see that she jumped over the spot that Lan and Lillian uh, accidentally stepped in. That's about it. Yeah. How do I feel fine? Everything's fine? Yeah. Hmm. Can I um, Can I have you fly to get the extra couple inches? Uh, Maybe next time, but you're not feeling anything bad. You're not dying. You're not cursed. No one's attacking us. No one's dropping okay. rocks on our heads. Maybe the moss knew it was an accident. We tried. Or maybe it's like you can mess up once and then like don't do it again. Or we're covered in spores and we're all gonna die a horrible death. <laughs> well I'm not. I ninja around that and took shade with me. Well so did so I we'll be fine. I think. <laughs> Let's go. Absolutely. What happened? Wait, if I flash of insight would I um succeed? Again, succeed you're what? fine, Lillian. It'll be alright. I'm just always joking at the worst case scenario. I'm like, he's he's very nice to us. Like, more my. Oh, brownie. this is a nice map. Yes. Oh yeah, he came into focus. What are you trying to oh. say? We need a bath or something, DM? Uh, no. But there's yeah. creatures about. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they need baths. Are those owl bears? Because I, I love owl bears. They are. Kind of like I'll owl get bears. My battle loot. They're about the same What's size the as owl bears, bears, but they look distinctively like owls. Do they have wings? They do have wings. Big wings. Yeah. Okay. So there's a big ceiling in here. Is a lot of room for them to fly around. There are roughly the ceiling in this certain section is roughly forty feet high. Okay. Do we recognize what the hell that thing is in the center? You can roll. It would be nature again. Um, it is more magical though, so Arcana could also be a substitute. All right, yeah. I'm really I will good at Arcana. attempt this. I'm really good at that. Watch this. Even though I'm dumb as hell, but I will try. Yeah, yeah, six. Oh, I know. Nope. Mm. Oh. Good it's again. big. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a large man. In a, you know, on a small island. Wonder if that yeah. thing can hold them. Oh, that's about all I got. What you guys got? <laughs> yeah, how, that's pretty much what I got too. I, how, uh, how big is it? Like, is it like? It is a large huge, creature. Large. About four of you combined, in mass. Uh, that being said, yeah. the Kelmore, you can tell that this creature does not belong from here. Similarly, like the Fae, it was brought here. However, it has indeed made a home here with the owls. For some reason or another, the owls have grown into massive size, roughly the size of owl bears. Hmm. Uh, guys, just, I just give all this information to them. I guess I'll try speaking up and try to acquire its attention. Uh, hey, me. what? What? Wait, hold on. Before he says anything, like, what? What are they doing? Like, what are they, what are they doing right now? Uh, like, what are we seeing? Do you know the classic scene of an old man feeding birds in the movie? Yes. Yes. Pretty much mm. that. No bench, though. Okay, so they're just doing stuff like, and they. Do we feel like they are aware of our presence? Uh, some of the owls just look at you and then go back to eating. But All the. Right. Well, Gilmore starts to talk. I tell him to wait. I'm like, maybe we should just let him feed the birds and we should just move on. Let's not talk to everything we see. We just. You know, let sleeping dogs lie this time. Maybe. But isn't there think? always a trial that we have to overcome? Yeah, maybe our trial is to keep our mouth shut and sneak through. <laughs> Can I make Plus, like a, a check to see if I'm super sneaky? Is? Okay. Um, My plate armor. Different types of trials, <laughs> like that guy mentioned at the front. So I'm thinking that this 
is there some kind of symbolic meaning that I can tell the the way that this place is shaped, the fact that there's running water. Roll insight. Uh, there was this big glowing guy with owls. Um, maybe. It does seem to be a little bit off compared to the other rooms. Um, one dealt with the sands of time changing places and locations. Uh, one dealt uh, with the passage of time and veering against your own path. This seems to be a strange sort of event, as if you're stuck in a situation and you don't move forwards or backwards. You don't go in one direction or the other. You just simply sit still. Hmm. Well, can we see the other exits around? There's uh, two of them. Right? Well, if we're going down, I'm going to walk around that way from the... Look at the measuring tool. I'm going to walk around this way if anyone wants to join me. If we're going that way anyway, it depends on what the group decides. Are there two exits or three? Um, do you want to look at them? Uh, I do not. Yeah, pretty much. By the way. <laughs> Can we Shade. And is that a is it a little bridge across the thing too? Oh. It's a small passageway you can go to through. You will get wet. Hello, can I be here? Hello? Yeah. What are the, uh, DM, what are the light levels in here like? Uh, low light. It's surprising, but there is some light in this area. Is it, like, dim enough that I could do my, uh, shadow step kind of thing? It's too far. dim enough to try. Okay. Shade, are you going to try it. using your shadow step to take a look around the area? Yeah, let me take a look across the other side and see what's what. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and if there's a fireball that gets thrown at him, we're not in the way. I can shadow I, step 60 feet, so if it I works, can fly I can if that there. helps. If it helps, I can Save fly. It. Save it. I think you can fly all the time, though. Save it, right? Out of character, it's four hours. Save yeah, it's, it's the boots that's flying. The wing boots, yeah. Yeah, he, he can he can fly one minute at a time, man. Like he can fly, basically fly forever. Uh, He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Uh, Shade, as you pass to the next section and you explore which tunnel? Uh, I was gonna uh, just if it, if the face if the shadow step works, and I can get over here. I was just going to go over and peek down this tunnel to see what's uh, at this exit. As you, explore the, you know, the, as you explore the next tunnel, you do see that you... Let me see what that connects to. You see the man and owls currently staring at... Not staring at you, but staring back at you. As if you're looking at them, but you're still here. Gotcha. Um, all right then, um, and okay, it's like a mirror image almost? Almost, but the direction that you are staring at them would be more uh, aligned to this direction. Gotcha, okay. Interesting. Um, Am I able I'll... to go up here? Do you try? I, I want to explore to see if this is a direction that we can go. Do you try? It, can I? Is there like a wall that I have to climb? What exactly do are you trying to, to do? I want to see if it's possible to go up this way to where the water is going. You go up in that direction and there you see a waterfall roughly 20 feet up. I'd have to climb. Uh, Shade, uh, do you go through that passageway? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Uh, you come back out in this direction. Alright, that's what I figured. 
Oh. I think we should try to look through these other places here and see if they might hold some kind of clue. Yeah, that's actually what I was kind of thinking. I was going to walk up into this little chasm over here. And Can I try down here? Do an investigation if that's all right with you, DM. Go ahead and roll investigation. Yep, these are rocks, all right. Investigating your current site, Bartholomew, you can tell that there is a small nest. Um, there are roughly three uh, eggs, about the size of ostrich eggs, inside of this nest, um, with one indent missing. With an indent clearly indicating that something's missing. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if this is anything. Uh, looks like there's some uh, an egg missing from this nest here. Anyone find an egg? Love eggs. <laughs> yeah, let's not cook them right now. Uh, Kelmar, you do I'm see... We're stuck in here, then we'll eat them right now. It's a bit damp in here. That, there, damp in here. <laughs> that there's another nest in your current section. However, this one isn't missing any eggs. Uh, there's no eggs to actually be spoken of. It's just a simple nest. All right, I'll continue going down to each one of these places and see what I can find. Okay. Hold up. I bet they're owl eggs. We shouldn't touch them. Let's go down this way and be real nice about it. I'm going to look in the general direction of him. Do I see... An egg near the giant man? You do. Or something that looks like it? Currently, one of the birds is, or at least does have it underneath one of their wings. It's not holding oh. it, it's just underneath the wing, as if it's blanketed. So do we want to take it? Do we want to, like, convince it? Well, it's probably not going to get be convinced to give up its baby, but, you know. Hmm. The dingo ate your baby. Uh, Shade and Lillian, what are you two doing? Just watching. Um, Shade is going to try and see if it's possible to exit um, going up past the waterfall. Uh, do you throw something up there first, or do you climb up there? Uh -oh. uh, do you touch the water? Uh, do you climb with your hands, uh, your feet? You can use your removable rod. Yeah, uh, I think it'd probably just climb, like, normally just scale up as far as I could just to see what was going on along the rock. Uh, probably not touching the water, because I feel like it has something to do with this. Uh, okay. As you climb up the rock, it's not that difficult to climb up. Um, especially for you. You are dexterous. I... Uh, as you peer onto the other side, and as soon as that vehicle gets out of range, uh, you can see that on the top of the plateau, you it's as if you're seeing uh, the waterfall down, looking at the area once more. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I think back at that point, I'd probably shade, try by the way. touching the water. Uh, roll a con save. Uh oh. As you touch the, as you touch the water, you feel as if uh, your hand begins to wrinkle really quickly. So you immediately let it go, and you see the very tip of your I'm gonna say point your finger uh, mm -hmm. is far more wrinkly than it ever should be. Mm. Gotcha. And that's in the flowing water of the of the waterfall. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will call out uh, don't touch the water. I think it ages you, or at least the waterfall. Looking down, uh, you can tell that once it hits the pool of water, it immediately goes still. Do you think we should take some of the eggs and perhaps put them in the waterfall 
and let them go down, and maybe that would have an effect. Maybe it I would think... hatch them. Yeah. Or I think we should just go. We shouldn't How touch any of that. Be? I'm thinking just put the egg back in the nest, but then we raise the risk of pissing off the owl. Do you think we should try talking? Because if none of these, do any of these other rooms have anything? Uh, the room you're currently in doesn't seem to have anything, like, at all. I wanted to check all the rooms that I haven't already checked. Alright, um, there's a nest right over here in this passageway. And the I one... wave to Shade since he's a sneaky boy. Oh. <laughs> and the one closest to Shade seems to have a bit of a uh, root growth sticking out of it and a nest underneath. Hey guys, I have Mage Hand, you know. Yeah, but they're t they tend to notice that most likely is a thing. Yeah, mm. Are you guys starting? We shouldn't try speaking. Yeah, I guess we can talk to him now. It's mostly land. I don't care. I, I was just trying to say we should we should take a look around before we just yell out to something across the way. Excuse um, me. We're taking a pretty good look. Excuse me, big glowing person. May I mm -hmm. have your attention for a moment? No. Doesn't speak to you. I tried talking to the owls. Hello, can we use converse with? Me? All three look at you, and then go back to eating. Shade's gonna try touching the still water uh, quickly to see if the same kind of thing happens. Uh, um, thing. Luin's gonna stop you. Luin's gonna stop you, and use a stick to stick it in the water and see what happens. Uh, Lillian, you are roughly fifty feet away from Shade. Sixty feet. <laughs> oh. Wait, I can't find my thing on this. I can't. Uh, top right corner. Yeah, I'm zoomed in a little far. Dang it. That's, oh, that's not the right one. Can never find the bar to move the freaking screen over. Use my freaking mouse wheel. Use the top right? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Where is everyone else? Uh, around the entire pool. Oh. I was gonna go look at the water then. Alright, as you're looking at the water, uh, Shade, same finger? Different finger? Uh, same finger. Alright, as you touch the pool, the wrinkling goes back to where it once was beforehand. Uh, but you feel a little stillness in your body for a split second. Do you continue to touch, or do you not? I will withdraw. Alright, that strange sensation of stillness leaves your body. Okay. So did I see what happened? Uh, it was more of a feeling in his body rather than looking at him. Oh. Shade, are your markings on your body okay? Look the same to me. They look the same. I'm gonna try and jump onto the plat the little island that the owls are on. Assuming uh, no one else has any other better suggestions. In order well, not to disturb there is birds, one egg missing. Uh acrobatics of ten. Alright. Can anybody here track or anything? I mean I know where the egg is, one of the owls has it. Oh no. It's so can someone explain to me why we're using, um, why we're, what the, the thing about the egg is? One of the eggs is missing from one of the nests, and uh, I noticed that anyway, and I saw that one of the owls has an egg, so I was just gonna, like, get Shay to sneak it away. But... Wait, wait, one of the owls stole an egg from the other owl? Maybe? No, no, no. I don't know, though. Um, it's under one of their I've... wings, though. Can I give him guidance for this? Uh, how close do you have to be to give guidance? What? Touch. You're too far away for guidance. I will use my last flash of insight then. 
Uh, how fo close do you have to be? Honest. I don't know, actually. Is it sight? Because you can do sight. I'll just let him fail. It'd be funnier. Yeah, I was gonna say I. I personally would just let me fall. <laughs> I, don't don't bother wasting yeah. it. You hit the rock, and unfortunately, your feet don't hit the rock. So you immediately plunge half your body in the water. You didn't roll so low that you all dipped in, but the feeling and sensation of stillness enters half your body, and you're just barely clinging on to the surface. Uh, right now, your body feels numb. There's no movement within your circuitry. There's just stiffness. Uh, go ahead um, and roll uh, athletics to crawl your way out of it. Okay, well, that's my best stat. All right. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> right now, you're just crawling uh, to stay in place. Uh, Shade will uh, shadow step onto the rock with him. If I can. Barely, but and yes. Pull him up. And pull him up. Uh, go ahead and roll use, athletics. Uh, if, if he doesn't do this, help. Lillian's going to fly over and help. With advantage or just... Well, yeah, with advantage. Hmm? Mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lillian is turning her boots on and flying over to help. Because it's just... This is just ridiculous. Oh yeah, no, please. I need help. three people <laughs> to get across ten feet of rock. <laughs> where are you? Where are you exactly? Uh, the bottom left of that area. Okay, here's my athletics check. There. All okay, right. that's way better. Plus guidance, plus seven. <laughs> so twenty-four. Do you I get? You are out of able water? to get him out of the water. However, now all three of you are right next to a giant bird. Yeah, that's not going to panic it at all, I imagine. You know, you, know, you know they actually have their own language, right? Giant owl is a language. Yes. Uh, Do any of you have it? No. You'll be surprised to know that I did not take that. <laughs> actually, I did. Uh, forgot. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, um, roll animal handling then, or else you will spook the bird. All three of you. If any one of you fail, well, what? animal handling. I cannot um, believe that might have actually succeeded. Nope, I rolled a two. It's all good, guys. It wants <laughs> oh, to all is right in the world. Uh, okay, Shade, go ahead and roll dexterity saving throw as it flies up of like three inches in the air and kicks you, or attempts to. Oh. You got kung food by it, wow! <laughs> Yeah, kung fu by an owl, goddamn. It tries to kick you maybe <laughs> off the rock or into the water, it's hard to tell. Um, but it hits, but you're easily able to dodge any actual strenuous effect. However, you are st currently still in the same area, and now the other two birds are flapping around. Uh, the bird. Did the that one that had its egg take it with him? It did not. It flew up, and it's currently trying to hit shade. Uh oh. <laughs> Dude, am I any on the check? I got a 22. <clears throat> we, I think both you and I succeeded, but Shade did not. Yes. Um, everyone go ahead and roll turn order. Oh. I think right, it's right, just right. so that you won't get attacked. I think this is Kalmar's fault. We should just kidding, Kalmar. <laughs> this is somehow Kalmar's fault. I, know I say that every time. I know every time something bad an happens. Issue. But Every time I'm, just, bad happy, I'm, I'm just sitting here flabbergasted by the whole thing, apparently, because I'm just sitting here with my thumb on my butt. I see that. I mean, your your legs are probably still frozen, so... That's true. <laughs> there, that's oh, the storyline reason they, why I'm dead are last. Numb? Are they numb or are they frozen? They were, like, paralyzed, basically. I right, right, climbed right. out. I'm feeling better now, right? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh Jesus. Unfortunately, it kind of came on suddenly. Just gave me an error. Not bad, guys. Else, so the first half of this game wasn't recorded, unfortunately. That was my best yeah. work, Gilmore. It happens. Yep. Yeah. Uh... My best work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I I said I had a blessed spell that was ready in case they get hostile. 
So yes. my blood spell, my blood spell went off on myself, um, Bartholomew and uh, Lillian. What are you? You're an artificer. I have, I have melee and range attacks. So. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I will put on Miss Lillian too. There you go. Cause I only did level one bless. Sorry, Sorry. guys. All right. Uh, beginning turn order, the owl takes his turn. At least the owl that you can see. The one up north next to Shade begins to rustle and move about. It begins to flap its wings, and Bartholomew, you are currently in the way. So both of you go ahead and make dexterity saving throws as it begins to shoot <laughs> gusts of winds towards you, just pushing you. I just wanted to conversate. I don't know what I would conversate about. But... Bartholomew and Shade, you both have a plus five uh, to your saves because I'm within ten feet of you. Oh, thank God. Bartholomew, yeah, I came to help. and you're you're blessed, Bartholomew. <laughs> As you currently are almost being pushed into the water, land begins to shine and you shine as well. Just cling and you cling on to the rocks, not wanting to feel numb again. Let the will guide you, my friend. Hold on. The next owl takes its movement and then begins to try to kick shade into the water. Let's see here. Its strength is a plus four. It is proficient in kicking, so that's a add three, so seven. Proficient in kicking was this Bruce Lee fucking owls at day? Apparently. First attack like, misses. We trained by Bruce Lee. Fuck you. Oh and natural one. Alrighty. Uh, the man or creature that was feeding the birds uh, is currently picking up the crumbs that they left. Kelmore. So the man isn't doing anything. Uh, picking up crumbs. I don't. I don't understand what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, I guess we're gonna have. I, I still think we should get the egg. We should get it from them. Uh, I'm maybe, the only one who voiced that. We should get that. <laughs> I, I guess, I mean, the only thing that we found was, like, there's an egg missing, like, I don't know, like, it could be important. At the same time, it could just be a mother holding her egg and we're stealing it, like, that's bad, so... I just I wanted know. to put the egg in the nest! Don't hurt me! I don't know. Right. But anyway, they are attacking us, so we have to defend ourselves. I mean, I don't want to hurt... I would try not to hurt them. You want, right. We can non-lethally attack can him, or try to. Can I... Knock out some birdies. They're trained by Bruce Lee, though. I, I don't want to draw this giant guy's attention. I want to know. <laughs> I don't. I think I it's a bit late for that. Can I, is just picking up. Yeah. Can I lasso one of my rope, my rope, and try to tie the bird over here and uh, not strangle it, but restrain it, so it won't be able to attack so easily. That would require two actions. Are you able to take two actions on your turn? Kind of. I do have some hemp and rope. I um, have my extra attack and I can axe and surge if needed in bonus action. Uh, you would have to. Your bonus action or your extra attack is still within the same action. So you would need to. Not quicken something. Uh, what's it called again? Action surge? Action, action surge. surge. Alright, I'll action search. Alright, getting a rope is fine. That's uh, pulling out of weapons, and I think that's a free action. It is. Okay, you have rope. Restraining them I would like be to... a grapple check, so go ahead and roll athletics versus their athletics or acrobatics. Um, oh. would he get the plus four, or is that something else? No, he. I didn't bust Kelmore. Okay, that would make sense. He was Sorry, further than Kelmore. ten feet beforehand. 
I can do it in 30 feet, but I, I bless the weaker party members. Not like, I mean, less, not weaker, but you know, people who could not take as many hits, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So, party. less durable. There you go, sorry. I have like 100 hit points, just so you know. Well, that's what I was kind of asking. I was like, I don't know much of artificers. So, I, have a, I think Kelmore yeah. still has more, though. Uh, I have yeah, a more ton on. Uh, you also have like a 73, point. not including my temp. Kelmore, do you have. Yeah, I have 25 hit points plus. A bonus action or movement you would like to continue to take? Or a long range attack? What happened with the rogue and my efforts to just. Uh, it, it, you threw it and it just landed next to them. And you just pulled it back, it back in. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Is there anything I can really think of? I guess I'll try getting its attention. Um. I like to yell out to the bird to stop. So we come in peace. Stop attacking us. It just turns its head at you 90 degrees, and then it turns it back. Well, that was nothing else I can do since I already used my action. Alright, um... Star just jumps over. She has to clear some of you, so it's going to be a more difficult check. Plus her modifier, and she is able to jump over. Lillian is still flying, so... Oh, okay, um, then it's a little less, but she, with her modifier, she, uh, makes it either way. Uh, she then looks at you, do you want me to get the egg? Yeah! yeah. Yes, Grab the egg. Sorry. Uh, go put it back in the nest, please. Gently, please. Um, I can only go so far, well, I mean, you know, next, when you get a chance, I trust you. Shade. Um, so, do the owls seem, like, aggressive now, or just startled still? Startled in a way they're trying to protect, uh, their food. Right. Um, okay. I will try to... Punch uh, this one. Um, I'm gonna make it a stunning strike. All right. All right. Well, Shade's going to jail for beating the wildlife. So. I don't know if a twelve will hit. Twelve does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. Another attempt. Another stunning strike. Fourteen. Unfortunately, misses as well. Okay, and I'm just gonna bonus action shadow step away. We are uh, garbage on the dice. <laughs> yeah, not do rune so well tonight. Um, and uh, he'll call out. Maybe if we just move away, they'll settle down. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna leave regardless, but you know. Now that Lance, not Lance, sorry, Lance. Uh, now that Shade is moved. They turn their direction towards Bartholomew and Lan. I just said Lan again. Lillian. I think I have something against them. Uh, Lillian and Bartholomew. I feel like everybody hates him. It's cool. Let's see here. Please yeah, don't I... eat me. I didn't do anything. It'll try to render you both. Um, let's see. Plus seven. Oh, good. We both got a, a We both got a turn. Dang it. Lillian's 15 feet away. I mean, she was flying low enough for me to be picked up by her, though, was a problem there. The bird can also fly, by the way. Um, but it rolled poorly, so it <laughs> does not hit. It does not hit either of us. I mean, what's the modifier on that 7 if that was the one aimed at me? 14. Uh, my AC is 14, so if that was aimed at me, then that would meet so beat. Uh, yours was the 4. Oh, okay. Uh, Lan. Um, the after Shade uh, 
disappeared there. Uh, does that one look a little less agitated, or or it does just, it look like it's about to kill Bartholomew now? <laughs> it just looks like it now wants to attack Bartholomew and Lillian. Mm. Land like puts his sword up. He's like, uh, "Do we kill it?" Mm 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 mm. I mean, didn't you hear Shade say that we should back away? I did, but now they're about to, it's about to eat you. Just because Shade said something doesn't mean that it looks like they're about to kill you. <laughs> uh, I guess... Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, since they're going to be backing away, I can give them cover. So they won't get op attacked, I guess. They don't have to worry about that. All right. Uh, I tell them, uh, I say, uh, <laughs> Bartholomew, Lillian, uh, it's going to get real dark real soon. And I use uh, no. two sorcery points. No, and... I'm just going to call it. No, don't you dare. So you don't want cover? Otherwise, you're going to have to disengage. You can just fly away, I think, because it'll be blinded. But I was going to... Eh, whatever. I'm going to put uh, Darkness. Uh, two sorcery points and cast Darkness. You know, um, Michelle said they have their own language. I have tongues. That could work. I could actually yeah. talk to them. They are, yeah, Giant Eagle is its own language, too. Well, I would be able to speak all of them, so... Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. I think it's here, right here. Boop. So I'm in the darkness as well. Ignore the terrible. And circle. I can see. So wait, you just blinded everyone? That's a circle. I blinded all the guys who could hit you as you leave. Yes, so you can fly away. Wait, so how are you in the darkness? Because it goes 20 feet in a radius. So if I've cast it here, then I'm in a circle. Like, uh, okay. have, I just want you to know, out of character, Lillian can have words with you with this, this stunt that you keep pulling. You see, uh, here's the problem with that. Yeah, uh, like we it. can't see where we're going now. Yeah. You I told you it was going to get dark. You can turn and jump. You'll be fine. It won't make it any more difficult. It just means that if you fall, you won't see the fall until you fall. <laughs> okay. I'm here with my hands out, I was going to say, worry. like, um... Do, Land do you not think there. this one through? Let, no, he is. Land sitting there with his hand out, ready to uh, help them as they as they come over. Oh, that would give Bartholomew an advantage. Lenin can fly. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, I'm, I'm I'm calling I'm calling out to him too. So here's the sound of my voice. Like, come on. I had everything ready for like a reveal, and then he just like killed him with the stupid darkness. Um. Oh, what happened? You're gonna read what? Let me see. My armor on, and you freaking darkness us. I'm sorry. Well, we were trying not to kill anything. <laughs> we Come out, we can see. see. I can see you. Show we me what can't it looks see, like. Though. You blocked I can it see up. you. I can see you. Show me what it looks like. I want to see. That'd be like a secret show just for me. We can't show you nothing. That's what we're seeing. We can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, but I can see. I can see that. What you can, what's wrong? Lillian, you're fine. You can easily get out yeah. of the area. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're yeah. trying to yeah. attack them, that's the only thing that's going to be difficult. Hey, you guys said you didn't want to attack, so I made sure nobody's attacking her. At least they are. They have a hard time. I'm debating whether that Lillian can come over and punch you in the face. You could try. You would probably die. Mm. <laughs> She's going to come over and punch you in the face. Okay. Good luck. All right, you're flying. You know Land's direction. Yeah, Literally, I'm the darkness out the did nothing. Come on over. And, and you go to Kalmore. <laughs> uh oh. See, the thing yeah, is, in that darkness, you could actually make that mistake. <laughs> what? What mistake? You're going after Kelmore, not Land. Well, I can't. Well, he's out. Of, he's out. Green. He's out of the darkness now. He's out. He can see now. He's 25 feet away. He can see. Or she can cool. see. Which way? I would have gone towards the direction of the voice, but I can't. Yeah, you went towards my voice. You just went. By, you just went by me. That's all. That was, you can stop wherever you want. It's twenty feet, so you're in the darkness there. Are you here? Still. Yeah, you're still in the darkness. There you're out now. There you are. Okay, I can hit you from here then. 
<laughs> but you can't. You still can't see me though. I'm in the darkness. Lan is in the darkness. You're not in the darkness. Yeah, shit, the he is. You're outside the circle. No, nope, sorry. The circle yeah, is right it's, it's here. Just I just terrible moved it. Terrible circle is the problem. To indicate okay, this is where this is where I cast it. You yeah. right here. You wouldn't be in the darkness then if you cast it over there. Yeah, I would. Hang on, give me a second. I'll show you what it looks Wait, like. Here, I, I can draw too. I think. Can I? You should be able to. But I was just gonna reveal the aura. Okay. The land would be in the dark again. Yeah. So. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to blindly fire an energy beam of lightning at you. Uh oh. Go ahead. I just know that like, if this turns to blows, I'm gonna kill you and toss you in the water and take shit. So be careful. Actually, what you know what? She's gonna for. fly at you and grapple. She's gonna try and grapple you. That would be at a disadvantage. Go I'm gonna. That's yeah. fine. She can try and grapple him. It would also be a luck roll, I suppose. Oh shit! I don't think it's gonna matter too much. It's a nine, so. It's a disadvantage. So it's, two. it's still a nine because my score is not added down to because I can't make it. Yeah. Answer. It, those rolls are confusing, but yeah, it is a nine. But since I know Lan pretty well, it, you probably will still fail with that. Well, you know, he could fail. Am I supposed to roll a strength, a strength save? Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Athletics or acrobatics. Oh, uh, how, how do I do that? Oh, oops. I hit strength um, before I try to disable it. I don't know how to like, not roll it. Is your modifier yeah. the same? For athletics, yeah. Uh, so plus that's, seven. That's fine. So, yeah, so 23. All right. Uh, Lillian just grappling the fog then. I just put my hand out and Lillian's just like trying to grab me. I'm like, hold on, let me help Bartholomew for a minute. I'll be right there. <laughs> be with uh, you in a minute. Any bonus action left, Lillian? Um, hang on. I'm do something. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna jump to my voice. I've got you. I've got you, baby. Come to my sweet, sultry voice. <laughs> it's not sultry. Anyway, Come to my voice, my I'm soft, like, soft well, sound, it's like My really soft not. and supple like voice. I have like a slithery voice, you know, probably a little this bit. This is the second time you blinded a princess. Really. She gets and takes that very seriously. Well, yeah. I used to kill princesses. I'm a, I don't really care about any of that. That's I hate royalty. Lie, but okay. He also doesn't know that you're a princess. <laughs> Bartholomew, go no ahead. No one knows. No one knows. I get... I almost want to cast freedom of movement in case I mess up again, but you know what? I'm going to just roll it. I got you. Acrobatics to jump to land. And I would never... And I should have cast freedom of movement. <laughs> you had advantage. You had advantage. I do? Oh, okay. In that case, let me roll it again. That's better. You have advantage because land can see you through this darkness. You on. Yes. And I pulled you in towards me. Swung you in. Right. Yeah, get, cool. I still can't see. Let me get rid of these terrible You can circles. still move, though. You have, you have movement still. You do. Uh, you I move do. Um... You see, the thing is, I can't see where I am right now, even though I'm at the edge of the darkness. Lan, with, Lan has you in his little grip right now. He pushes you towards the towards the, towards the the light. He says the darkness is exit that way. <laughs> yeah, see, the thing is, I don't want to go that way. Uh, <laughs> well, you can move I want to go around to the south and then to right, which is east. I mean, you can follow the wall. Yeah, so I'll do that. Now you've got your You're ready to go. Uh, Any bonus action? All right. Well, no. I mean, my main thing is if the uh, if Land didn't do that, I was just gonna talk my way out with tongues, but I didn't need to. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just all outside sure, of the darkness. Told me that. I wouldn't have used it. <laughs> Still talk to him, I guess, if you want to. Um, you feel like the birds aren't really targeting you anymore. Okay. Uh. Okay. So Shade was right. Lan, you can tell that the birds just 
go back to eating. Okay. I turn off the darkness. I'll drop this spell. Concentration. Okay. Lillian is gonna be, Lillian is gonna slap you. You can try. What would the roll what be for that, that even? Uh, it would be an attack roll, I suppose. Just no uh, real damage against it, unless you're trying to do damage. No. I would be unarmed, so it would just be a straight strength roll. Well, I know. You're not using a weapon you're proficient with. I'm using my hand. You're not proficient with it unless you're a monk, so it's just a straight strength roll. Yeah, but I have gauntlet on my hand, which I am proficient with. Alright. I, I don't know what you're wearing. <laughs> Okay, does 30 hit you? Uh, no. You have disadvantage, so you missed. What? How do you have, how does she have disadvantage? Have disadvantage? Oh, man, that sucks, doesn't it? How do you have <laughs> the cloak disadvantage? of displacement. Uh, the cloak of displacement. Anyway, yes. I move, okay, you swing and, you swing and miss, and you, I, and I laugh. Uh, Lillian, I, hang on, Lillian, would you be able to flash of insight? After knowing you missed, hey, I don't think you can flash it inside after you fall over. You can after you make a roll, you can make it. But, but before, before or after it was declared? Well, you, you it's after. So after you know that you missed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is Flash of Insight still plus seven or something else? Plus six. Plus six. You still miss shield. 40, You're gonna shield a slap. Yep, not gonna let him touch me. <laughs> not happening. Uh, Lillian, nice you try. feel like you hit the air. Did you just <laughs> shield my slap? Yeah. Even Bartholomew fall all the way over here is gonna be like, are you really that petty, dude? Yep, don't touch me. I have never you're liked to be blind touched. Me. That's the second time. Hey, well, Star. you're welcome for saving your life again. It was never in danger. Hey, Star, are you okay over there? Nah, you look like you're about to fall over. I wasn't sure. Yeah, okay. you would not have gotten Didn't ahead of me. I was ahead of you. So, should we try putting <laughs> egg back in the nest? I think Star was doing that, or did Star do that yet? She's doing it now. Yeah. She didn't get a chance to do it. Uh, but she gets over to this side with Bartholomew following soon after, and then Kelmore. And Kelmore decides to sprint ahead. Uh, and then states, ah. Hey, if you guys are busy over there, you mind joining us? Or are you going to be all sad in the press because you can't see or you can't slap someone or are you going to be depressed with oh look i can do shadow magic Woo -hoo. oh no my friends can't see oh well that's their fault shade's so, okay uh, you're moody today aren't you sir yeah why didn't we hang out with her she pays us I, <laughs> she comes back out i pay you She then states, why do you think my mom says I have no friends? I don't know. I find you quite amusing, Star. Mm. Yeah, I've stuck around her this long. And you two clearly have problems. As she places yeah. the Oh, egg I never said I did. As she places the egg back in the nest. Um, Who's outside looking at the waterfall? I am. Uh, then you both see that the waterfall begins to go backwards. Hmm. I'm gonna walk towards the waterfall then. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my finger. I'm assuming Shade told us, but uh, even then, I'm gonna put my finger in the waterfall now. Is it okay? Uh, you feel as if your uh, pinky finger is being pushed up the waterfall. Screw it, and I'm just gonna jump in. <laughs> you get pushed up the waterfall. Wee! I, I guess I just fly up the waterfall. 
That's probably the safer idea. Don't. I'm not a role model. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. The same Guys effect climb. still happens. Uh, Kelmore, you climb. That one gets older. Uh, no, he's fine. My paint and key finger wasn't affected by it, so that's why I am. Uh, I just jumped in. Star thinks that's fun, so she jumps in as well. Can I climb? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's not as fun. I did climbing because I'm wearing armor. That's fair. Yeah, you. Yeah, okay, that's actually. Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna try and climb up on the outside too because I'm wearing heavy armor. And I'm fucked. So fucked. This and Lillian just flew up? Yeah. yeah. Everyone who's wearing light armor just jumped in and then Lillian just flew. Does I wear no water... armor, I'm just fast. Does this water seem inherently magical or is it just under a magical effect? One or the other, maybe both. I, I ask because it might be able to carry me if it's magical enough. Ah, you can always try. Oh, I guess I don't need to sit here. Uh, again, uh, you didn't need to. Uh, but then Star moves forwards with the rest of you. Uh, I think Bartholomew would technically be first. And then everyone gets in front of Bartholomew. I was trying to be first. So hey, Kelmore was always in front of me for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I said I'm I usually, if I can help it, I'm, I'm going to try and be first. I mean, you were climbing up while I was going up a very, very fast waterfall, so... Yeah, Bartholomew you first you would want. not have been able to... Go first. Unless I'd one of you... I was flying. Unless one of you can move 160 feet, uh, which Shade might be able to, uh, no one would be able to beat Bartholomew up here. I, really I can. I didn't know we were, like, moving around by around. <laughs> I thought we were just, like, moving... I can move 165 feet per round. Yeah, it gen genuinely doesn't yeah, matter. We're also in the waterfall. Uh, anyway, it's just something. Um, but you enter inside, and following you, you do see that there are arrows pointing you in separate directions. One points you to the left and signifies three rooms: one of the undead, one of the fey, and one of the water. To the right points you in a separate direction. It just describes a waiting room, and then one to the hallway leading south. Uh, points to one oh oops wrong token uh one of the celestial and one of stop time not sorry not stop time uh time room huh i just put the wrong token in the celestial one interesting hey can i um can i um, um do something and then roll intimidate check uh, depends on what you're trying to do. Can I activate my armor? What are you trying to do? I'm putting it over me like it's coming out, like like that. Except there's no nanotech in this in setting. You can put on your armor, but what are you trying to do? I'm gonna intimidate, um... Who cast the darkness again? Lan. To not do that anymore. Uh, that wouldn't work. The only thing you would that would what? do is stop him from doing it at this point in time. Yeah. Also, okay. like, uh, I'm, it's not an NPC. You can also just ask. Please. Well, okay, fine. I want to ask my order. Please stop doing that. I like to be able to see. I will don't do it on you if you don't want me to. But I did help you get out of there without being hit at all. I'm really hard to hit. I know, but. Now you're impossible, see? He's like, but if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. It's all good. I like to go down here, if I can. Why do I get the feeling something petty is going to come up later? <laughs> uh, Not for me, I don't give a shit. <laughs> eh, either way. That's good. Uh, the rest of your team does note that Kelmore decides to go south. Yeah, I was actually going to go south as well. So I'm following him and I'm walking now. I'm not flying anymore. Uh, the roof is 10 feet high, so it'd just be weird, but doable. What? I'm only like 3 feet tall. I could, of course, be flying. 
It'd be weird, but it's... It'd be like a pixie. Like I said. A really, yeah, really big pixie. But I'm walking. Yeah. All right, you head south. Is there a door here? No, it's an open... Well, in the map, yes, but... I don't always get to choose the maps I get. Can I go down this far? Yeah. Uh, there is a door next to you to the right that indicates Celestial. Written in Celestial. I probably uh. recognize it even if I can't read it, and I'll give a knock. Alright. You knock, and the door opens. Inside, you see a woman uh, dressed in clad paladin armor, white hair, and golden eyes. Me. I will talk in common and ask if it can understand me. It begins to speak in Celestial. Anyone here speak Celestial? I mean, if no one does, I can magically. I don't understand what he's saying. I like how each language you guys have never been able to read. Uh, but Star moves forwards. Uh, she begins to speak in Celestial and they begin to have a conversation. Uh, she then states to the group, all right, she says if you want the trial, you can commence, but you only get one trial of each room. No, that's poor phrasing. You only get to do one trial in this area. Uh, what are the other trials? What are the trials? One deals with the undead, giving you power of life. One deals with Faye, giving you the power of suggestion. One deals with the underwater uh, bleh, kingdom. I think that's what she phrased it giving you an expanse in your own life. One area is just a waiting room. You can just hang out there if you're not ready or prepared. And the one at the far end deals with time eternal, so if you really want to gamble it, we can go. This one here deals with uh, your spiritual body, uh, dealing with reincarnation. Is it, are we doing this all together, or is it, is it individual? She said it's harder with individuals, but you could technically go by singles. I say we, we should probably stick together. I, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> I asked. Yeah, everyone go in. I'll hold I the door. You guys wanna... As he holds huh. the door. Question. Question. Well, I, I wasn't. No, we can wait. Let's go to the waiting room. Rest. I have a question. I need a break. Yeah. Are there five trials or four? There's a total of five. Uh, sorry. There's a total of four, is what she said. Unless you count the waiting uh, room as the fifth. Yeah. Um, the next thing I want to know. Oh, and wait. Like uh, sorry. Five. Unless you count yeah. the waiting room as the sixth. Okay. Where's the fifth trial? One where she is at? Uh, sh yes. Yeah, Celestial, Undead, Fae, um... And time eternal. Under what? Yeah, time eternal. All right. Um, I would ask her then. What does the time eternal do? You said I couldn't quite catch everything. Uh. She would state, "I'm not at liberty to tell you. It is not my trial and my knowledge to give." All right. Then I would um, ask. I'm looking for two women. One. They go by the name of Avalon and Vivian. One has a, a market on her face. Uh, they're both humans and spellcasters. They did not they give... Across them. They did not come and enter this room. Bartholomew's just gonna, like, walk away slowly while this conversation's taking place by the way to the Time guess, Eternal room. I guess I'm gonna go down to the Time Eternal as well. Why? We're not taking a break? Yeah, Lan okay. says, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's we can go break. to the waiting room. Wait, let's wait. I don't, wait. I don't well, I, well, we do. We're not. So, come, <laughs> come rest. All right, well, then you guys are going to You can wait if you want. All right, go then. We're telling you just going to walk by. He doesn't know Kelmore's following him. What did you say, Dina? It's going to be harder by yourself, but you could try. Uh, I said, why are you going there? Are you just following Bartholomew? The reason why I'm going this way is because there wasn't anyone in the waiting room that we saw and then we made a bunch of noise as we were coming down there and no one came out. Uh, the reason why I didn't go to the 
water, the bay, or the uh, undead was because they said that they were, came here. Didn't you make mention about how my sisters were looking for time-related stuff? I could have sworn you made mention of that earlier. I did. I just needed to know the exact yeah. information. Then, since she said that there was a time-related one, I decided that perhaps the time one might be the closest thing I'm looking for. All right. Uh, Lillian, do you rest or do you follow those two? She is like, God. Guys are so hard to deal with. Don't worry about it. Uh, do you just not join anyone then? No, I join. I say that and under my breath, and then I join. Uh, resting uh -huh. room or trial room? Trial. Oh. Well, okay. Oh, uh, hi, Calmore. Uh, how Calmore, are you doing, Calmore, buddy? Can, can I convince you to let us take a rest before we do this, please? If you guys need to take one, go ahead. But I'm perfect. But we don't want you to go in by yourself. You might not come out. Very I'm risky. I'm right. put my life on the line for my goal. You guys don't need to follow. As you enter the room stating that, um, you do see two individuals here. Uh, two humanoid individuals here. There are three others, one a giant sphinx and though? one a male sphinx, whose name I kind of forget right now. And then one individual who's likely the proctor Andrew for this. Andrew, thank you. And then one that's likely considered a proctor. They seem to be clad in golden armor, have white hair, but demonic wings. I give a long stare to the two women. Do I recognize them? They seem older and a lot more battle-worn, but they do resemble your heritage. I whisper out, Avalon Vivian. They do turn towards you and sigh. Uh, Vivian then states, uh, Surprising, it really did take you this long. Avalon then states, well, no matter. I have a uh, tear going down my eye, and I say, Sisters, so good to see you. I've been looking for you for so long. Yeah, I guess they were here, and that's why I came down first. I had no intention of taking it now. Hmm. Ah, uh, Vivian states. I'm sure that's correct. Or not, it really doesn't I, matter. Lillian's coming in. That's fine, you come in. And I'm going to roll that, and my lie is perfect. Your lie is perfect. <laughs> Which lie? Which lie are you saying? He was coming in, he wanted to come in by himself, but you surprised him. And Lillian surprised him again. <laughs> so I guess you're lying about not being surprised? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Or, well, I'm lying about, yeah. I was surprised you came here. and Because he was under the impression everyone was going to the waiting room, but you followed him, and I guess Lillian came back right behind <laughs> you. Wait, your character isn't aware that I got information about my sisters looking for time. Oh, I, don't, I didn't care about your sisters. I was going for the trial. <laughs> that was the lie. Um, but then yeah. Alan does state, Well, I suppose it really doesn't matter why you came here. Either way, we needed the numbers, so we just waited for the next participants, but it took them a lot longer than we had anticipated. I give them a confused look. What's wrong? Aren't, aren't you happy or excited? I haven't seen you for so many years. Vivian then states, why would we be? Why wouldn't you? The same reason why we wouldn't be. If you're alive, you're alive. If you're not, you're not. The third of us managed to survive, but she's still stuck in a temporal state. But she is alive. I'm I am aware that our sister is in a temporal state. I currently have her in my care. Avalon then states, so that's where she went. 
Vivian, do you think it's still possible? Yes, I'm sure it's still possible. We just need to bring her back at his place, I suppose. Evelyn uh, then looks towards you. Sister, the she was held captive by some apostle champion and a beholder and mind flayer, I think. Yes, the others. The others for what? The other contracted. If you were able to get her, I assume one of you became a contractor. A contractor to whom? Well, the one you were with, I can only assume, was the Abolith. We defeated the champion of the Abolith, and the consequently destroyed that particular Underdark city by accident. Avalon then presses two fingers to her temple and then states, No, you defeated his politician, I'm afraid. But that really doesn't matter. Either way, you still have her, and we still have use for her. Uh, either way, you're here. Might as well take this trial. Can I have to do an insight check? Because I'm starting to feel that my sisters have become evil. Yeah, no, can I do that, dude? They're creeping me out. Bartholomew is just like, well, you know, this is fine. Can I just, it uh, has this trial work again? <laughs> You can go he ahead could not it. care less about this reunion. He is just here for the trial. Okay, yeah, so what do I know? They're creeping me out with all their, like, non-caring and emotional state. They feel like they're non-caring and emotional state. Like, they're planning to do something, but they don't really care how they get to it. You believe, both of you believe, that the reason why they're still in this room is because they were waiting for other people to use in order to advance their progress. Maybe not evil, but definitely a little messed up. Um, but so, tell me you really don't care. Kelmore, what happened to your sisters that we should know about? I'm not certain. Can I walk up slowly and try giving them both a hug? Um... As you begin to walk slowly to try to give them a hug, uh, Lan and Shade currently discussing onion techniques. Um, your blade begins to burn at your side the closer you get to them. I take a step back before I get too close and I telepathically speak to Jolter and I ask her, what's wrong? They have already been contracted, I'm afraid. These two already are bearers of others' gifts. Do they wield a curse of sin? No. They wield the ones that created them. So they are taken like the crystal guy was. The crystal guy was not taken. He was used. These two accepted the gift and were able to survive it. Thank you, Shelter, for, as I sadly tell her, for telling me. <coughs> the Proctor now, just <coughs> seeing Sorry. all this, states, Are you all quite done now? Yes, as I say hollowly. I am ready to hear your words. My apologies. All right. The simple riddle will be implemented against each of you. However... It may or may not be answerable to you, depending on what you have or what you lack. These two sphinxes here, while one of them truly is the one to give you the riddle, the other is here to protect their investment. So do not do something stupid. Avalon then states, we've heard this beforehand. Quite right. If you are ready, you may proceed and ask them to begin. Otherwise, you can hold out and wait for as long as you need. But once you've entered this room, there's no going out of it until the answer is, until a answer is given. What are the rewards and consequences? 
The consequences is a number of years stripped from your life. The reward is perhaps depending on what you're capable of. A new addition to feats or something beyond your current limit, which is something given from another class. What may we use to acquire the answer if we have the ability to do so? Out of game terms, it has to be your own wit. I'm afraid I can't let you guys roll insight. That being I mean, said, he's you giving have us access a free to the internet. Or, yeah. I was actually thinking more along the lines of, can I ask Jolter? Uh, no. Alright. I am... So he's, we get a question each, or all together? All together. Unless you want to take the test or trial alone. I will take it together. All right. Uh, any one of you can begin. Lillian, Kelmore, Bartholomew. Technically, the two NPCs can as well, but they're going to hold off until one of you does something. Wait, they said the trial, you can lose years of your life? Yes. Yeah, if you fail. If you fail. I'm going to come back another day. Once you enter this room, there is no going back unless, until an answer is given. Uh, once we start the trial. We didn't start the trial yet, technically. Roll yeah, so persuasion. My specialty. You're welcome in advance. I'm giving him guidance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, plus four. Nice. Oh, you already rolled. Sorry. 29. <laughs> you needed a 28. So you left out. Hmm. I will allow I all five of you to exit out this room since you technically are correct. are correct. I'm assuming you did not read the message on the door. No, I. I, mm, I, I there was a message? Well. None of you would be actually able to see the message, I'm afraid. Ah, okay. <laughs> so that's the little awkwardness that was going to happen. So I suppose leaving would be appropriate but once you enter inside you will not be able to leave again as the door I'm opens going, i'm going to rest i'm sorry guys i can't help you today i need to rest and then maybe tomorrow i can do it oh man oh <laughs> yeah, it's fine <laughs> avalon hey. Hey, both exit I guess I'll exit as well. Bartholomew walks up to the door as if he's about to leave and then just walks right back in. You didn't technically leave, so... Well... Yeah. I'm, ass I'm assuming Lillian li leaves. Can you move your token at all, Michelle? Um, sorry, I was trying to fix my bed. Ah, okay. Can you move it for me? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm I'm putting weights back under my bed to keep it up because the frame is broken. So. Oop, ow, that fell my foot. So I'm alone in here. Uh, and I just turned to the... So... What's this trial all about, anyway? Answering riddles? I got this. It is indeed. If you answer it alone, the, the reward will be greater, but it would be a greater threat to you as well. Ah, oh, well. I'm a gambler by nature anyway. As I turn to the Sphinx and be like, Yo, Sphinx! What you got for me? <laughs> the smell... F smell. The male Sphinx mm -hmm. looks towards you and then states... There is a riddle you must solve, all on your own and on your wits, as you have decided to do so. If you are ready, please state, I am ready. I am ready. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? <laughs> Perhaps. Here is the riddle. To continue, I must be fed the fruit of the earth, not from the tree or bush, but from the ground itself. I need a cherry and two grapes.
Hmm. Continue. I must be fed the fruit of the earth. I thought of one thing, but I'm not sure. You can't that. tell me. <laughs> and my answer would be final, right? Yes. You could perhaps take the trial again as you've been able to take other trials beforehand, but that means you'll be losing more of your life. If you continue to fail. Yeah. It also says to I could totally just cheat right now, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> my character would, but I'm not my character. Uh... If you don't have an immediate answer, you can let us do some stuff as you think. I don't have an immediate answer, so you guys can do some stuff if you want to do it. Let me just sit here and ponder this. Okay. Uh, Lan and Shade, and it cast in Lydia now, uh, you see both Lan, Shade, and Star drinking some wine, talking about food. As Lan hands you yep. a bowl. Lan just made a bunch of food. He's just about to eat and chill. Go get some rest before he does something. Doesn't want to risk dying. Likes his life the way it is. How big is this room? It's... Please tell me the ceiling is really high. It's still the same height. Damn it. I can't put out my portable <laughs> job. <laughs> I mean, not without breaking the walls. Quick question. Does I refer to the Sphinx? Or just in general, some nobody? Just in general, some nobody. Okay. I'll try the wine. Is it? How does it compare to what I'm used to? It actually matches what you're used to. This is very good wine. Where did you get it? I only drink the best, and I pull out a jug of like, and like it's like all like decorative and stuff, and I like pour him some more. I'm like you need but ask. And I put it back, like, in my, like, my, uh... He pulls, my out, he pulls out a glass and delicately sips from it. I like Say one. It's delicious. When? Huh? Oh, is it my turn? I heard when and then, uh, something about two sisters. I said and Lynn's I, done on, we're just having some wine, like Lynn and Lily and, and uh, Shade as well. Oh, okay. Uh, then Kimor, I suppose. Uh, Vivian, Avalon. What's wrong? Are, are you guys in trouble? Vivian then states, why would we be? Then the other, we've already gone through the process. Why would we be in trouble? Well, you're talking as if I should already know some things, and I'm kind of lost. Uh, uh, you're not really acting very much like how I remember, though I think that should be obvious why. But I would think that you would be happy to see me again and to know that our other sister is safe. Avalon Ish. then states, She would have been fine without you interfering, but you did interfere, so that is something we must take into account. However, time has passed since we last saw each other. Years have passed. Our emotions to your... to our old ties are irrelevant in this current matter. Okay, I ask, how old do they look now? They're not ancient, um... But they're like 23, 25. I think Kelmore's 28, and he's the oldest. Wait, what is it? Wait a minute. To continue, I must be fed the fruit of the earth, not from a tree or a bush. You can't answer to this question for me. I have to answer it myself. Although, quick question. Would uh, Bartholomew you know what <laughs> a slot machine would be powered by? Because I think that might be the answer, but I want to make sure. <laughs> Bartholomew has been gambling in the past. 
but I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, electricity was generated from oil and coal and shit, but at the same time, that doesn't sound right. Ah. This is difficult unless you interpret it properly. Um, if you'd like, I can only give each of you, when you do the riddles, one hint. What is your hint, sir? To continue, I must be fed the fruit of earth, not from a tree or a bush, but from the ground itself. I need a cherry and two grapes. The last sentence itself will likely confuse you. So think of the last sentence as not fruit, but something closer to cherry and grapes. Oh, I got it. Ooh. Like, you know grapes, they're green, purple, red. Like the worst of riddles, and it's like the first one I think I know. Like, my watch, I'm like dead wrong. I think I know. I mean, it would be like a plant or cherries growing trees, though, is the problem there. They're not plants, he said. Just they're bubbly, they're symbolic. Cherries have pits, grapes have seeds. Uh, they're not fruit. I know. Like a sword, it represents a fake male penis. These things are symbolic. Anyway, do you guys have any other character things to do, or is this just going to be me trying to figure this shit out? <laughs> I'm just trying um, to reconnect with my sisters and have conversations with them, try to understand what is their situation, what is going on. Um, Lynn's going to set up her tent and get in it. Get, get in it set up. All right. Um, then going back to uh, the family squabble, Avalon then states, "Our emotional ties do not matter." Right now, we are the vessels of two, and there still requires three. Our youngest one was supposed to be a third, but you had intercepted that matter. Her mind was gone long before I intercepted anything. The mind did not matter once, inter once fused. The stasis would have broken. With what she just said, does it sound like this isn't actually Avalon and Vivian? It's more like two beings fused together? More or less. From you can tell, they're speaking of ritualistic combination. Um, you know of five entities that helped uh, the humanoid races form these sin blades and shards. The way they're speaking, they somehow tapped into or combined with these beings. I think I'm starting to understand a bit more, my sisters, of what the issue is. And I would like, when we have more time, to talk about this in depth, if you wouldn't mind. Vivian states, you can do what you'd like. We plan to continue on. If you follow, you follow. If you don't, you don't. Am I given any other warnings by Chalter during this conversation? Just that they carry immense power within. I am curious about something, Vivian. That I being? remember. I remember about how much you enjoyed sparring with Father and me. Why you enjoyed practicing magic? Avalon was the one who most enjoyed partitioning it with Mother. And I always remembered the joy and smile you had on your face as you kept trying fruitlessly to fight Father and me. I wonder where the, my two adorable sisters went to through this trials that we have been through these years. In unison, they both state they grew up, but 
it's clear to us that you have not. You're still on the same path. And then you changed it. All so you could go back. There's no going back to the steps you've already taken. Because others have already trampled through it. I believe I'm starting to understand a bit more about what's happening. I'm curious to know how much of you are still left or are the two otherworldly creatures that you have contracted with are the ones who are truly controlling you rather than you yourselves. Physically and mentally we are here, but the emotional state's now gone. It served no purpose. I wouldn't say that emotion states show no purpose, and that seems kind of contradictory considering what information I was given beforehand. I was under the impression that those creatures helped make the blades of sin. Quite true. It's because the humanoid races needed them. Not everyone's adapt to merge. But with the coming events, they needed warriors that went beyond simple necessity of combat and weapons. They needed avatars. Do you know what happens when a blade of sin is stabbed into the heart of an avatar and killed? If we did, we would not tell you. I just thought you'd be willing to tell me because the blades of sin were created to kill gods, right? Quite right. And why would you give me? Why would we give you more information? Well, because we are neither on the side of the gods nor on the side of the other creatures. At least, not yet. We don't know what's going on enough to make a decision. Then that is your choice to make. We do not lead you in the direction you choose to go. That is your choice. If you're not with us. And why would we help you for some emotional tie we have or had with you? It's not just about an emotional tie, sister. It's about trying to encourage allies. As I was given information about what happened back then, at least a couple of seconds of it, and I am aware that a number of abyssal creatures and monstrous creatures rose to help-ish the mortal races at the time. I am aware of that, but I am also aware that these same creatures are not as considerate as they once were in how they create the, amass their next army to deal with the next war of the gods. The world will be broken or everyone will die, or a few will be taken and many will live. Why would we be weak if we could choose to be strong, to help out and survive rather than not? It seems you can emotional. Ask. You can simply ask. A lot of people would be willing to fight and help. Or others have to be coerced. But if you can gain control, there would be no need to ask. I believe we're done I here. I wasn't asked. I wasn't asked, and I would have helped if you had asked me. Then help or don't. That is your choice. But I believe we're done here. Okay. Um. By the way, how, like, what rating would the answer be? Just because, you know, cherry and two grapes, that kind of gets me thinking of, like, maybe things that aren't, like, PG-13, you know? Uh, it would probably be a rated G answer. Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking juice. It's not related at all to fruit. The juice is related to fruit. Oh. Plus, you can't tell me anyway. <laughs> Did, you already got the hint. The DM already said that you know it's not related to fruit. I know. So it's most likely something Earth-related. There are a lot of things Earth-related. That need to be... 
To continue, I must be fed the fruits of the earth, not from a tree or bush, but from the ground itself. I need a cherry and two grapes. So I've already given you this hint, but I need a cherry, so something cherry colored, and I need two grapes, something grape colored. So what comes from the earth that has any relation? Come on, hush. You should already know that part, at least. <sighs> it's going to be one of those riddles where if I guess it wrong and I get the answer, I'm going to be kicking myself for not thinking about it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I figured out one of them. I'm not... The other one's the grapes, I'm not sure. I mean, the ground itself, I mean, there's a lot of root vegetables. What's red and purple? A cherry and two grapes. Is it one thing, or is it three things? It can be three things based on this, but there's really only just one answer that needs to be given. The closer you are or get, the better the reward, but the closer you are and fail, the less the punishment will be. Uh... I just noticed something. You have some place you can go for that knowledge. Did you not? For, do you remember that? Would Bartholomew even know that himself at all? He like... would, but this is more of a PC needs to answer. Can I roll insight for another hint at least? <laughs> Fine. Sorry. Yeah. I know I'm bad. Inside. So lucky you rolled well. Yeah. I, no, no more pins, just this one. It often involves what jewelers call certain things. And what do jewelers work with other than metal? To continue, I must be fed the fruits of the earth. So that would be like a magical ring, wouldn't it? One needs a garnet and two amethysts. Do you say that? I mean, I say that part out loud, but that's not my official answer, because I'm struggling to think what piece of jewelry needs a garnet and two amethysts. You said it out loud, so unfortunately, you forgot that an answer must be given, and you accidentally gave an answer. Oh, I, okay, so it's anytime I speak out loud? I, I Once thought the I was trial allowed commences, to speak out loud. You cannot leave until an answer is given. Well, it's can I thing, say when my final answer is? It's a good thing you didn't say. A Hang necklace. on, give me a second. No, too late. You already answered. In the interest of time. <laughs> that, and because it's funnier this way. As you begin to mumble about gemstones you just mentioned... Then say, oh, wait, I got it, a necklace. You see that the giant sphinxes now hover around you. The massive sphinx in front of you then begins to look straight into your eyes. You feel as if time itself is moving forwards, as if you're dying from age itself. Damn it. You begin to wonder and question, and then you feel the palm of the... Paw, I think of the other sphinx, the female one, wrapped around you. You look towards her and you feel as if you're de-aging time itself, beginning to move backwards. And then in a split second, you feel your life fracture into three forms. And then you hit the ground. And then in a split second later, you fly into the air and hit the roof. And then you blink and you're back in place. 
the sphinx in front of you, the male one, then states, the answer has been given. The answer is acceptable. You have been now given portents. Use it well and use it wisely. If you make a mistake or others make one, or you decide to give one to another, there is no going back after. You may now leave this room. As you accidentally answered correctly. I... Are those gems or the gem names? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking either a necklace or ring, but hey. I, I exit wrong. with portents, you said, right? Yes. Damn, those are nice. After a long rest, Ooh. you are able to roll 2d20 and then keep them until you use them. I follow behind. Uh, or until hopefully you take another long I didn't rest. take too long or literally 10 minutes like I just did or like 15. It's been uh, 15 minutes. Everyone's pretty much busy. So they kind of didn't notice or at least not until you get here. Huh, man, these hallways are confusing. Uh, hey, guys, what's going on? Just trying to reconnect with my sisters. You can see oh, how they're talking that's... with each other, but not him. At least anymore. How's that going? Uh, Don't, I asked Kilmore, how's that going? Not well. Uh, ah, well. Lily went into her tent and changed. She's in PJs. So, why did you guys... They're really nice PJs. Why were you guys <laughs> insistent about, uh this rest a lot of abilities were used up not really maybe not yours I meant for all of us the only thing really was darkness and maybe something from shade but I used all my flashes of insight and my um freaking two third level spell slots there's been no rest since the beginning of the temple right so it's been two there's sessions. been no rest yeah. mm-hmm yeah, that's why I said I wanted to rest. Yeah. That would take a long rest to get all that stuff back. Then you take a long rest. Yeah. This is the resting room. Yep. Yeah. We're supposed to be over here resting. Our company wanted to go do it on his own. That's what he did. We're I did not here. say that at all. No one. Hopefully, I would think no one would notice me. Lillian left on her own, and then Kelmore was focusing on his sisters. There is no physical yeah, change. No. Shade would definitely notice that you've been gone for 15 minutes and you came back not dead, so he assumes things went at least okay for you. Yeah, I just had to look around, uh, you know, <laughs> see you know, what uh, was going on around here besides just the trial rooms. And, you know, that's a 29, so, you know, unless anyone rolls higher than that, <laughs> yeah, that's what you believe. <laughs> okay, let's see this. I'm going to see if I can roll higher than that. You know, this is like this is the second or third time I thought I knew roll or got so lucky to get something important right. I'm guidancing myself. Oh, no, damn it. I could do it if I had Flash of Insight. Uh, it really doesn't matter, honestly. But uh, you believe the lie. So, I mean, it matters to me mostly because I did not say at all that I was... Very true. Going anywhere, nor... <laughs> and like I said, I slipped away from the rest of the group while they were talking to the Celestial. Yeah. So, so Shade does have an inkling, but has no proof, and the others don't care enough. Which helps the holiday. <laughs> so everyone rejoins after a little speaking here and there to certain individuals, back and take a long rest. And we will start up after a long I, rest I next don't. time. Oh, by I the don't. way, this is a very big tent. Like, it's like really, really nice. Okay. Uh, Kelmore, you can stay with your sisters if you'd like, but if you don't take a long rest, you don't take one. That's fine. But everyone else will, That's as we end the session for today. That's not what I mean.